Hi there, in this video I will show you how to quickly install Nextcloud open source file hosting service on Ubuntu. If you are watching this video, I'm assuming you already have running Ubuntu server in-house or on a cloud. If you don't, I recommend first you go and watch one of my videos on how to get always free Ubuntu server on Oracle Cloud. We will be installing Nextcloud from a snap package, so it will be a pretty easy process. To install it, all we need to do is run the following command, sudo snap install nextcloud. After we have it installed, we're going to have to create an administrator password. So we're going to do sudo nextcloud.manual-install and then the name of the administrator user. So in my case, I'm just going to call him admin and then the password, password123. Make sure you use a different password, right? Now this will take a little bit, but it is pretty quick. The next thing we want to do is we want to add our domain to the trusted domains because by default Nextcloud only allows connections from localhost. So to do that we're going to run this command. If you don't have a domain, if you're going to be using IP, you can replace the domain name here with IP. In my case I already have my domain pointed to my IP, so I'm just going to put the domain name here and you can click enter. And then uh, with the following command we can just check and make sure that our domain got added to the trusted domains. And as you can see we have the localhost, that's the default one, and then the one that I just added. The next thing that you want to do is you want to open ports 443 and ports 80, since Ubuntu by default doesn't have those ports open. And to do that, I usually just go to Etsy, IP tables, rules, version 4. Oh, and I put an extra dash here. There you go. And so what I usually do is I just go here and I'll grab one of these rules. For example, the one for, for SSH. And I'll just paste it like this. And I'll replace this with 443. And then here with 80, dash, dash then control X, Y and enter to save the file. Now, just a reminder, if you're using a cloud service, like in my case, I'm using Oracle Cloud, or if you're with Amazon Web Services or any other cloud service, or even if you are in your house and you want this to be accessible from the internet, make sure that you open those 443 and port 80 on your firewall, either on your router or on your security groups in your cloud provider. Once you have all this open, we can go ahead and run the next command that will get us a free Let's Encrypt certificate. sudo nextcloud-enable-https let's encrypt. Oh, and I misspelled it. We gotta have a dot here. And there you go. Now here, you can read through that, but basically you have to agree, so you can have said yes. And then for email, I'll say info. Add. And then here, I'm gonna give it my domain. And again, if you use your IP, you cannot do this, so you can just skip this. All right, now that we have all this done, we can go ahead to our web browser and try to access it. And there you go, you get the login screen and you can see here that we have a secure connection and we have a valid Let's Encrypt certificate issued to nextcloud.tech.lich.net. Now to log in, we're going to use our admin user that we created earlier and the password was password123. And that's pretty much it. You're in. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section under the video. If you like the video, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe for my channel.